So when you open up GIMP, this is what you see. You see a blank area. So you cannot actually work here. So what you need to do first is create a new document so that you can start working in it. So to create a new blank document, you need to go around onto the file menu right here. And here you can see that new is an option. So over here, you can see that create is an option as well. But this is if you want to uh, uh, create from clipboard or web page. In our case, we're going to create a new blank document. So I'm just going to go around and click on new. So once you do that, this is what you have, as you can see. You can choose from different templates right here, as you can see. So if I were to click on this, there's different templates, as you can see, like the CD cover right here. Click and hold and you can see that there's different templates like A4 right here. There's like uh, 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 128720 SD and so forth. So you can go around and choose that out. You can choose portrait or landscape mode right here, just like this, and choose the effect you want as well. So now let me just go around over here and type in the width and height. You can go around and type in, let's say, for example, 1920 by, uh, let's say, for example, uh, 1080 right here. You can also go around and type in the width and height. And apart from that, you can see that there's different, um, um, uh, different, uh, measurement units right here, like in inches, you can enter it out in inches, in millimeters right here, in points, in bikers and so forth, meters, feet and so forth, as you can see, even yards over here. And there's like uh, typogram points and so forth, as you can see. But let me just go around and stick to pixel right here and press OK. So once you do that, you can see that my um, a work area is created and that is how it is. You can go around over here and zoom in as you can see right here and zoom out and then start working around with it. By default, I have my brush so you can see that I can simply go around and start making out my content over here just like this. And that is how you can create out a new document inside of GIMP. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.